Hello everyone. Welcome to the next lecture on the linear algebra. Today I will explain you how you can find the inverse of the matrix by using elementary row operation. Myself Dr. Harish Kar. You can follow my YouTube channel where you can find the various lectures related to the linear algebra. What is objective of this? If you have any square matrix, either is of three cross three, four cross four, or five cross five, or any of the higher uh, square matrix, then you can find the inverse of the matrix by using elementary row operation. We all know if you have the square matrix, how you can find the inverse of the matrix by using the adjoint of the A divided by determinant of this matrix. But this method has certain limitations. What is that? If you have the matrix size is say seven cross seven, eight cross eight, or even five cross five, then it is very difficult for you. or for all of us you can find the determinant of 5 cross 5 7 cross 7 and so on so therefore the computation is very tough by this method so in order to overcome this method we will find the inverse of the matrix by using elementary row operation so this method is applicable whether your matrix is 7 cross 7 or whether your matrix is 10 cross 10 you can find the inverse of the matrix by using this lecture so what is objective is once you have a matrix if i say this is my 3 cross 3 or any matrix then you can write the given matrix as a of i where i is called as identity matrix and the size of this identity matrix is same as of this matrix a i can substitute this capital i and capital a this then what is your target your target is to apply or you can say your target is to convert this matrix into the row reduce eklund form the same row reduce eklund form we have discussed in our last lecture so we can we can convert this matrix into a row reduce eklund form what is a row reduce eklund form the first non zero element should be 1 and below and the upper elements are my zero so that means once you apply the row reduce eklund form by using the elementary row operation this matrix is converted into this form and then now you can see this is my identity matrix then this matrix is called as a inverse of this matrix fine so this method is also called as gauss jordan method so how you can apply the elementary row operation you must watch my watch my last lecture there is a row reduce eklund form and i have already explained you with the help of the shortcut tricks so in order to understand this lecture you have to understand this lecture very well i hope you can subscribe my youtube channel as well so let's say how you can solve five to six example in this lecture for easy understanding the concept now how you can find the inverse of this matrix so firstly you can write because the matrix size is 3 cross 3 so your target is to write this matrix in this form this is my given matrix this is my identity now what is that your target is to convert into the row reduce eklund form what is a row reduce eklund form is the first non zero element should be 1 and you can see it is already a 1 fine then what is the next target is your target is to convert this below elements to be zero fine how you can write that that's a very simple you can see your target is to make r1 below element r1 r2 and r3 as a zero so minus minus what is the element is 1 what is the element is minus of 2 minus minus 2 plus r1 plus r make sure the last two elements that is r1 and r1 must be same fine then how you can find this value either you can apply the r2 minus r1 then it's a 2 then it's minus 6 then it's minus 1 this is a 1 this is 0 or you can apply my earlier tricks that is by using the four elements that is a determinant of this 3 minus 2 3 3 minus 1 2 this this and this minus 3 minus 2 minus 6 and this is my minus 1 0 1 similarly i can find that this element 1 4 1 and 2 or r3 plus 2 times of r2 it's a minus of 2 plus of 2 plus of 2 0 and 1 fine then your next target is to make this element to be 
one the second non zero element should be one how you can make that second non zero element to be one you can divide it r2 divided by 2 so i can divide it our second row divided by 2 then your next target is to make these two elements as a zero what are the operation you can do your target is to make r1 and r3 to be zero so you can i i will tell you again how you can write this matrix My, what is the element of the r1 1 what is the element of the r3 minus 2 minus minus plus your box element will be r2 fine so your target is to make this value so you can make them this as a box then how you can find this value either you can use r1 minus r2 or you can take an as a box element 3 plus 3 3 plus 3 6 how you can find this value is a 2 minus 6 minus 4 similarly for this value it is 1 1 1 and minus half it's a 1 plus half it's a 3 by 2 divided by box element or either you can use this operation make sure you have to write these operations in your examination otherwise marks will not be given by the examiner similarly how you can find this value 0 1 1 so 0 minus half divided by box element is my this number similarly you can complete complete this rest of the elements then what is the next step is your target is to make this value to be 1 how you can make this value to be 1 i have to divide it r3 di divided by minus 4 so i can divide this number by minus 4 so it is minus 1 over 4 minus 1 over 4 minus 1 over, rest of the elements are my similar then your target is to make these two numbers as a zero so which mathematical operations you will apply r2 r1 so what is the element of the r1 6 element of the r2 3 with respect to the third row that is a r make sure the below last elements must be same r2 r2 r3 and so on so what is the operation is i can do this number is my as such 1 0 0 now this is my box element you can apply this this minus this and so on now you can either you can apply this operation you will get this matrix clearly say this is my identity hence this is my a inverse of this matrix look at the second example now i can write this melody then your first target is to make this number to be one so there are the two methods fine how you can convert this the first method is you can divide it r1 by 3 then your value will be 1 2 by 3 2 by 3 i can write this is and this is my 1 over 3 0 and 0 otherwise the second method is if you if you want to avoid your calculation with the fraction you can see this is already a one the second method is i can interchange r2 and r1 so you can see there is your your purpose is to make the first element to be one either way you can uh, either way you can move on that either you can divide it first row by three or you can interchange the element that's on your choice so since in this case there is no need of the fraction i can opt this method you can opt this method answer will always be the same i can interchange this r2 and r3 then your purpose is to make these two elements as a zero fine how you can make them r2 what is the element of the r2 3 element of the r5 is 5 with respect to r1 and r fine the first row remain the same and the first values are there now you can see this is your box element now you can find this value either r2 minus 3 r1 so it will be minus 2 6 2 minus 6 then it will be minus 1 it will be 1 it will be minus 3 it will be 0 similarly r3 minus 5 r1 so you can multiply by 5 and subtract otherwise you can use this as a box element so 3 minus 15 minus 12 divided by box element 4 minus 5 divided by 1 0 minus 0 0 minus 5 
and 1 minus 0 is my 1. So minus 12, 1 and so on. Then the next step is your target is to make the second non-zero element to be 1. How you can make them? I can divide R2 by minus 7. So I can divide it second row. You can see I can divide it second row by 7. And you can see if you interchange any of the element, any of the row, there is will not be 1 as we have defined this. Then your target is to make this number as a 0 and this number as a 0. So which mathematical operation you will apply? R1 and R3. What is the number is 3? What is the number of the R3? Minus 12, minus, minus, plus with respect to R2. Fine. Either you can apply these operations, R1 minus 3 and this. Now your box element will be this number. You can find the this number will be 0. Now your target is to find these 8 elements. Either by using R1 minus 3 R2 or by using the box element. So this will be the 1 minus 3 over 7. So 7 minus 3. 4 over 7 otherwise you can use 3 times of this minus of this that's the same meaning of this it is 3 over 7 and so on once you can uh, operate them you will get this result next step will be in the third row your target is to make this element to be 1 how you can make them i can divide it r3 by 5 by 7 that is what is the meaning of that i can use 7 over 5 R3. I can multiply the third row by 7 over 5. Then the last one is your target is to make these two operations as a 0. So R1 minus and R2. What is the number is 4 over 7 and this is 1 over 7 with respect to R3 and R3. So I can apply these two operations. These numbers will be 0. I can do the same operations on this side. You will get this matrix and this is my a inverse. I hope you can like and comment on my this video as well. Look at this another value. Find the inverse of the matrix. I can write this. How you can make this number as a 1? Fine. Again you can see there are the two ways. The first way is again you can divide it R1 by 3 or can you make this number as a 1 by any of the other way? If you see I can use R1 minus R2. Firstly, if I use R1 divided by 3, so this number will be 1, minus 1, 4 over 3, 1 over 3, 0 and 0. If I use R1 minus R2, then you can see this number will be 0, 0, 1, minus 1, 0. And you can see, if you want to save your time, you can use this calculation because it avoids the fraction. Otherwise, this method is also fine for you. So I can opt R1 minus R2. You can use any one of the operations. So what is the R1 minus R2? 0, 0, 1, minus 1, 0. And the rest of the values are my same. Minus 3, minus 1, 4, 1, 0 and so on. Then your next target will be, your next target is to make this number as a 0 and this number. It is already a 0. So I can apply only R2 operation r2 minus twice of r1 so i can write the first row as such 1 minus 1 0 first column as this so i can found the rest of the values because last row there is no operation so i can write the last element as similar to the previous value and then i can found this either r2 minus 2 r1 or you can use as a determinant method 4 0 minus 2, 1 plus 2, 3 and 0 plus 0 is 0. Make sure you have to write these operations in your examinations. Then your next target is write this matrix to be 1. Again, you have the two, two ways you can write. How? What are the two ways? Either you can divide it R2 by minus 3 or you can see, firstly, I can interchange R2 and R3, fine. And then I can, firstly, you can interchange R2 and R3 or you can use this method. It's on your choice. So I can interchange R2 and R3. Now your target is to make this number to be plus 1. So what is the operation you can apply? I can apply R2 to be 
minus of r2 so i can multiply the second row by minus 1 or divided by 1 fine then the rest of the values are my similar fine the rest of the values are my similar then your next target is to calculate this number to be 0 because this upper number is already 0 so r3 minus what is the number of the r3 is minus minus plus 3 of r2 so i can apply 1 0 0 1 0 0 minus 1 0 0 minus 1 then i can compute these uh, 8 values by using r3 plus 3 r2 otherwise you can put this element as a box and then compute the rest of the elements so i can compute by using r3 plus then your target is to make this number as a 1 it is already a 1 then your target is to make this number as a 0 i can operate r2 minus minus plus r3 so i can add them so this becomes my 0 now you can see this number is my identity so this number will be my a inverse hence the inverse of the matrix is this look at one more matrix now your first target is to write the matrix as a 1 it is already there so then your purpose is to write the below values to be 0 so r2 and r3 so r2 minus what is the value of the r2 1 what is the value of the r3 1 with respect to r1 r so i can apply this value r2 minus r1 or you can write this as a box and then 9 minus 1 8 3 minus 2 1 0 minus 1 1 0 4 minus 1 3 2 minus 2 0 0 minus 1 0 and 1 fine then your target is to make this number as a 1 fine remember that you can never interchange r1 and r2 because if you interchange r1 and r2 this number will also change so uh, what is the way you can see r2 divided by 8 because this is not a 1 otherwise you can interchange them so you can say r2 divided by 8 so i divided the second row by 8 then your target is to make these two numbers as my 0 so what operation you will apply r1 minus r3 minus what is the value of the r1 1 what is the value of the r3 3 with respect to r2 because this r1 r3 r i can apply these operations r1 minus r2 and r3 minus can you compute this value either you can put this as a box element and find the determinants okay or otherwise r1 minus r2 once you can compute these numbers you will get this answer then your target is to make this number as a 1 how you can make i can operate minus 8 over 3 r3 i can multiply this number by minus 8 over 3 r then it becomes a 1 then your target is to make these two numbers as a 0 then you have to apply r1 minus 15 over 8 and it's a 1 over 8 with respect to r3 r3 make sure every time the last operation must be the same you can see r1 and r1 r2 and r2 so once you can apply this number you will get this matrix and you can see this is my i and then this will be my a inverse of the matrix uh, these two questions are exercise for you you can try to solve it yourself and let me your answers in the comment box so that i can understand whether you are able to learn these tricks or not you can verify your answer also uh, you can put yes in the comment box if you get the same answer in a re in a very simple time i hope you can like my video as well the next lecture will be on the rank of the matrix till then you can share this video with your friends so that they can also learn in the easiest way best of luck students happy learning